guys so here I am and I just finished filming this makeup tutorial for you guys it's from Rihanna's new music video featuring Drake called what's my name and I first heard about the song like three weeks ago I know I'm kind of late I think um, but I heard about it and then I saw the music video I fell in love with it then I noticed that she had very soft wearable makeup and then I got a few requests on my ya on my YouTube message inbox and so I decided to try it out so just to kind of give you a close-up of the eye makeup here it is that's my eye <laughs> see very soft and I just deepened up the crease a little bit and then the lips <laughs> and then all the products that I'm using today are from BH Cosmetics. I got a lovely package in the mail and I can't wait to do more tutorials because the color payoff for all of these palettes is awesome and I actually found my new brow color so I don't have to use my Milani Brow Fix kit anymore. So um, yeah, filled in my eyebrows and I'll show you what colors I use just in case you have like dark hair like me. It's so soft and purple and pink lips. Um, the only thing is that I modified it just a little bit. I added um, eyeliner at the bottom and then the lips they're not as matte and um, as the one she had on so I kinda gave them like a reddish tint with lip gloss so hope you guys like it and I will talk to you guys later bye okay so we're gonna start off using this primer and this one is by BH Cosmetics and it's also a lip primer so this one's fairly nude so I'm gonna take some in my finger and you gotta work with this really really fast so once you apply it on, just quickly blend it out. So now we're taking this 120 color palette and I'm going to open it up because this one, this is actually palette number one. So this one contains the really pretty purple which is this one here. And this is the kind of purple that you want to look for. And then just to kind of deepen up the crease a little bit, we're going to go to this darker one here but it's still in the same color family because they're still kind of like the same purple. Now I'm taking a brush and this one's also, all the brushes I'm using today are also by BH Cosmetics. And like I said, we're going to take the first purple. I should call it baby purple. And this one, you want to pat it on your eyelid. So pat it down first and kind of peck on the color since it's very, very soft. Just go like that. We're going to go into the second purple I told you, which is slightly darker. And this is really just going to go in here at the crease. But you don't want to smoke it out or anything. This is just to kind of give it some more dimension so it's not as flat. And just kind of apply the color here and blend it upwards. Like that. But don't blend it out too much. Just enough to like where you can tell it's a little darker. That's why we're not going to use like a dark purple. And once you do that, that's pretty much it for the purples. Now you can go into your um, shadow of choice for the highlight. And I really like this one in the same palette. It's just a soft white. And again I'm patting it down right beneath the eyebrow and make sure you also follow it down this way now we're gonna do the eyebrows and for the eyebrows I'm also gonna take another 120 palette and this 120 palette is number three which contains a dark brown um, soft matte brown for my eyes so you can see the second palette from the bottom after you take out the first layer which is quite colorful. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use the bottom corner brown which is matte and we're also going to use this one here which is kind of uh, more of a reddish brown. So I'm taking these two brushes and this is just an angled brush and this one's just another brush with a little spool so we can brush it off and I'm gonna use this to kind of give my eyeshadow um, my eyebrows some form and I'm mixing the two shades that I showed you and just take your time 
and fill it in. And then I'm just going to take the spool and brush it out and this is also going to help blend in the eyeshadow. So now we're going to take a cream liner and we're going to take another brush here which is an eyeliner brush, very fine tip. I'm just going to take it in here and for this you want to have it quite like I have it. Um, you can also do it thicker of course if you want it like that but I tried to do it as thin as possible so that's what we're going to do. Take pencil, eyeliner, and, and do the tight line, and then do the water line. Take mascara and do one coat. And I'm actually going to take the wand out and then just take like a clean tissue and then just kind of squeeze it in here. And then you take off all the excess so it's not clumpy. So we're going to work on the face and for the face I actually have this side of the face completely done and then this one is still obviously not done at all and I wanted to do it so I can kind of show you the difference we're actually doing concealer as foundation today and I'm only doing that for the purpose of this tutorial and I just seem to really like the coverage that it gives me really really flawless so for pictures I recommend this anyways um, we're going to start off with a foundation primer. So we're going to start off with this one, and this is just um, a vitamin a and &E foundation primer. This is also by BH Cosmetics. So we're just going to take half a pump for this. And typically, whenever I do a primer, I like to keep it on my T-zone. And then whatever's left over, just blend it into my cheeks. So that's pretty much what it does. It smooths out your complexion so your foundation or concealer go on a lot smoother. So we're going to take this one right here which is my color for concealer and it kind of matches my skin tone so we're going to use this one as well just to kind of mix them both, um, both together and I'm just going to take a foundation brush and just kind of go into both of them and if you want really heavy, um, <laughs> really heavy coverage and by that I mean like super even coverage where you cover every little imperfection then I would pat it down like this but I'm gonna pat it down and then just slightly blend it away especially around my nostril area now we're going to take a smaller concealer brush like this one and I really, really like using this one, especially when I don't do like a powder highlight. I like to take the concealer and really get underneath my eyebrow to kind of make it all even. So I'm just going to wipe it clean from last time. So it's cleaner to use. And for this, we're going to take the third color here from the bottom. And I'm not going to mix this one. It's just pretty much going to go underneath. And I'm going to start by patting this down where I need it which is usually up here like that and then you can just take your finger and just pat it down now we're gonna move on to setting our concealer foundation with a powder I'm just gonna take a translucent powder and a large fluffy powder brush Now we're going to go on to the cheeks. So just take a um, blush powder brush and we're going to take the 10 color palette. I'm actually going to mix this top one with this bottom corner one. So this, in the video I noticed she didn't really have like blush, she had more of a bronzy look. So that's why we're going to use this one. And then just a quick tip that I learned, if you ever do your makeup, like for example you do your blush 
or your bronzer in the morning and then by noon it just doesn't feel the same like you feel washed out try adding some right on top of your eyebrow make sure it's well blended just kind of like whatever's left on the brush we're gonna take the primer so they stays on longer and we're gonna take it and quickly erase our lips this way we get the full effect of the pink that we're gonna use um in this palette just to kind of quickly show you I feel funny with my lips like this um, we're going to go into this row of pinks and just kind of mess around with what you feel is the best baby pink. And for me, it was in between these two colors right here. Maybe these three. The last time that I did this makeup look, I used these two here. So just take um, your concealer brush if you want, the small one. And I'm actually going to use it. Just wipe it off in a clean little towel. I always keep them here just in case. Also because my hands get really dirty. So take it, mix it up. If you feel like it's too pink and just like too wash, um, it washes you out too much, just add a hint of red. pretty much it we are completely done and I hope you guys enjoyed it it's really really easy as you can see it's very wearable it just takes longer on camera because I have to explain everything and I love this look especially because it's like a bunch of pastels and I love baby colors so hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to check out dulcekenny.com and all the information any questions you can shoot them through Twitter and all the links are going to be provided down below. So that's it. Until next time. Bye.